James McGinn. So we have a bunch of trades to go through. Um, probably too many trades. At one point this morning, I think we had five or six large trades all at once, and I'll talk about that here in just a bit. But first thing we have right here is this great, fantastic um, N64, transparent, see-through, clear plastics, the best plastic. That's Agreed. a slogan. That's a slogan Agreed. I just made up. I'm Retro Rick, and I approve this message. Had to pair a controller with that, but we did have an extra great controller, so now that is available. What's actually wild is we have four of these in stock right now. Hey. That's that's a lot of grapes. It's a lot of grapes, and I'm full. Bad joke. Bad. So here we so go. Bad. <laughs> Super Nintendo Junior. I actually think we have a couple of these too. I think we've got like three of these, which is good. I'm not complaining. This is good. So apparently, this is a pretty rare um, GameCube controller. This is the Smash Bros. Uh, GameCube controller for the Wii U. Yes. Did I say that right? Yeah. Yes. No, um, if I remember Japanese. Right, it's this Japanese version of it. Japanese. So the American had a black version of it. Japanese got a white one. There's the more you know. So there's that. Um, and then we got a whole bunch of Genesis games right here. Probably the most notable is Lightning Force. It's probably the most notable. Uh, just some classics right here. The gross, the gross games back in the day. Toad Jam and Earl, Earthworm Jim. Love those kind of games, so you have those. The N64 stuff was probably some of the better stuff. Let me turn these around. So you got the Majora's Mask with the lenticular cover. You love that word. It, it, it is what it is. If it was foil, I would say foil. If it was holographic, I'd say holographic. But you always say it like you're excited to lenticular. say Lenticular. So, lenticular, got snowboards, snowboard kids, ocarina, Mario Party, uh, Banjo Tooie. Here's another one you don't see very often. Aiden Chronicles. So some good, some good uh, N64 stuff. A huge stack of NES. There you go for your viewing pleasure. There's those. And other than that, really kind of just good stuff. Mario Kart, uh, the double disker, and Mario Party 5. Some Switch games. And then the most notable PS1 game is this one. Dragon Valor? Valor? Valor. Valor. Valor? Valor. Valor. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, moving on, moving on. Let's just kind of go. Are you okay, baby? Let's keep going, let's keep going. <laughs> um, this is a pretty wild trade right here. You haven't even seen this yet. I have not. So this is the N64 Power Glove. No way. I actually would love, maybe here in a minute, Joa, could you demonstrate the N64 Glove for us? Yeah. I would love to see it. You literally use the glove like you move. He was trying to play, he was trying to play Smash Bros earlier with it. And he was like, the, the joystick's not working. I was like, dude, I think, I think you're the controller, bro. And he was like, oh, oh dang, I am the controller. So, uh, uh, look, another trade's coming in right now. Yeah. Goodness gracious. So here's a bunch of NES games. I remember I already looked at these. These were pretty much just kind of run-of-the-mill stuff. But we have some of the better ones right here. Uh, Tech Mobile, uh, Willow, Ultima, Super C. So there's that trade. Let's move over to a beefy one. This is a beefy one. This is a beefy one. Just right off the bat. Yeah. Another Earthbound. Guys, with the strategy guide. With the strategy guide. We just got this in with the strategy guide, like, maybe a month ago? Was that a month ago? Maybe? Maybe even. Uh, that's crazy. Got that. And then just the good stuff. Mario's missing. Donkey Kong Country. Super Mario Kart. Uh, Will specifically told me not to mess any of these up because he said that they're in order. So we're not going to mess those up. Contra, Life Force, Battletoads, freaking Barbies in there, Zelda, so many Mario 3s. I don't know what the deal is with this trade, but apparently this is a pretty big trade. I think he's getting credit too. He's getting Ooh, credit. He he's going to have a heyday in here. He is looking to um, beef up his collection for sure. Oh, he's got stuff. You care if we film this? Go ahead. All right, what is what do we have here? Is this all your stuff? Yes, I'm uh, coming down to do a little trade with you. Okay. I Whoa. actually live up in Missouri, and I'm heading to a Phoenix. Oh, okay. I had to come through here to Very cool. This was literally uh, not planned at all. <laughs> we're <laughs> we're filming all this stuff, and then all this came in. So, Shining Force CD. That's a 
What's the purpose of selling? You just, yeah, don't, don't I actually uh, do shows. I sell online. Okay. And, uh, but I thought, you know, if I'm going to come down here, I might as well do some trading with you. you know? That is awesome, man. This is crazy. Look at this thing. The booster for the Game Boy. This thing. Complete. It looks almost new inside. It may be new inside. I, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, isn't this like this big? Overall, if you didn't like how lightweight and convenient the Game Boy was, and the portability is not something you find appealing, and you wanted something more bulky and awkward, then this is for you. That is wild. Are you looking for um, credit or yes. cash? Short credit. Short credit. Short credit. Okay. Mainly NES because I started putting the run together after watching you put the run together. Oh, nice. But I'm only in about 15 games in. You're 15 in, so you got a long way to go. I got some good ones. I got some two, three hundred dollar games. Okay. But yeah, I got a long way to go. That's awesome. Like That's really awesome. Really Big fan of your, your well, video. Well, thank you so much, man. Rick, good to meet you. Good to meet you. Good job, Tony. Tony, look at Tony. Tony's got Thunder Force B. Uh, okay, I'm seeing a bunch of. Is this sealed this, stuff? This is more just to throw in stuff. I have some new okay. sealed stuff. It's cheaper games, but. Literally, guys, this is a box of sealed games. <laughs> Just sealed, a bunch of sealed PS2 games, which is pretty wild. Huh? And then this, I think you had to kind of weird stuff. I thought I'd bring this along. Okay. That's something like you've probably never seen. That is actually a CIA challenge coin. You can look it up on the on eBay. There, there you go, know, Belgium. A couple hundred dollars. But it's got Castle Grey Skull on it. Got Castle Grey Skull. Dude, that's so cool. Okay, well, looks like we had to pause our going through all the trades to get to this trade. So <laughs> hold one second. Oh, wow. Hey. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. Where'd you get all the slot? You know, pieces of it around here. I took one off that wall and off that wall. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, we have some in the closet. And so we pieced it all together and it'll look good. After it gets painted, of course. Michael, buddy old pal. Dude, that looks great. Stuff's getting done. Okay, so this, this whole, I guess I can just show you. This whole area is killing me and our VHS are like, I need, I can't get to it. I can't get to it. So we were like, well, we got this whole area up here. So I believe this can be painted black, right? Yes, all of this is gonna be black. That's perfect, and a lot cheaper than the $400. Oh, oh I didn't work. tell you, the shipping was 200 on top oh, of it. Oh gosh, <laughs> yeah, like, this is way better. Way I better. I this way more. And, okay, that's great. All right, yeah. well, we have Joe over here. Joe, what are you doing? Playing the 64 with my hand. Oh, my hand. wow, are you good? It is very hard to play. I'm uh, a-okay. What I think it would be hilarious to get the best Smash Bros players ever be like, I'm gonna give it a thousand dollar prize to whoever wins the Smash Bros N64 uh, challenge contest, right? And then hand them the power glove and watch them all struggle. So that's hilarious. All right, we're about to get back into the trades. Right. I want to. I want to. What am I holding this I wanna, for? I want to come back here. It's top secret. Top secret. Okay. All right, I need you to talk, talk to me more about this coin. So I don't, did oh, we even yeah. mention the coin? I think uh, we mentioned it briefly. I don't know, but this is, this is a challenge coin. So yeah. I was geeking out. This is more in like my world of things. And so when this came across the table, everybody's looking at like, you know, the booster for the Game Boy and I'm looking at this coin. So this is, uh, challenge coins are basically like signifying like, you being a part of something like with either within like the military, CIA, FBI, that sort of thing, you get a challenge coin oh, signifying that you're already. a part of a specific group. So this is from the Kandahar installation and what Castle Grey Skull that's Yeah, why Castle Grey Skull kind of connects with the store a little bit. And so uh, I think this was from uh, Operation Enduring Freedom and uh, yeah, from the Kandahar Airfield. Yeah, <laughs> in the dark. CIA yeah, crap. So freaking cool. So oh, I'm geeking out about it. So will it sell in the store? I don't really know. Yeah, I, at this point for me it's just gonna be. I'm just gonna keep it. It's a cool piece. I'm just gonna keep it oh, in, so he's in like part of the CIA. I'm now in officially, the front. officially CIA. This is CIA stuff. Welcome. All right. Good well. job. We have some things that we need to talk about. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> well, the things that I know, I actually didn't uh, realize when he first handed it to me. This is sealed. So this is a Super Famicom. This is Super Famicom disc system. So Ooh. this was a, this was the NES back in like the mid 80s before it came out here in America. And this right here is sealed. This has never been opened from uh, 85, 1985. So he was like, hey, make sure you know that that's never been opened. I was like, holy crap, so I'm gonna keep that. 
Gonna keep the uh, CIA coin because I'm officially CIA. And then I am keeping the booster. Booster for Game Boy. I foresee uh, many shorts coming in our future yes. with this. All right, the <laughs> last train we gotta look at, we haven't looked at yet, is my buddy Chuck's. Okay. So here's the thing that I've, I've been a little worried about. Trades have been nuts today, guys. What are we doing with our um, lives? I'm going home. No, you're not. We're There's home. much to do. We're trading yeah, stuff in. Okay, so I have my I have my people, like my go-to people, I'm like, hey, I need more product. They all came in on the same day, and then I had another guy come in that I didn't even say to come in. He's like, hey, man, just wanted to show up and bring you more stuff. Enough's enough, man. Enough is enough. All right, here we go. We have um, Special Edition Super Nintendo Yellow. We have another yellowed Super Nintendo NES Advantage. We have a PS1. We have a DSi XL. Multiple game cubes, PS4 controllers. Let's see what's in here. Uh, apparently, it is a handheld. Obviously. Oh, 2DS. Oh, wait, 2DS is do well, Joa? Yep. Okay, he says, yep. He says, yep. Kingdom Hearts, game cubes, bongos. Is this him too or is it something else? That's something else. Something else. It has been a day of trades, and I'm officially in the CIA. Wild, wild day of trades. Too much, to be honest. They're still processing trades. And then another one came in, which is all good things. It's, you know, we're getting near spring cleaning. People are cleaning out the garage, cleaning out their attic. They're bringing, bringing stuff to us, which is good, but it's just a lot for us to process. So that is it for now. We have more updates on the convention soon. Stick around for that. Remember, never stop playing.